God wants to put a song in our heart that reverberates throughout all of our being. He wants us to understand that He is our joy and that He will give us what we need as we go forward. I'm Craig Fritchley, pastor of Calvary Apostolic Tabernacle with today's devotional. And in the Psalms, chapter 40, verse number 1, it says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my going. He had put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. The song that God wants to give you is a song that comes from Him. It's because of what He's done in your life. So if you're having issues, talk to God, cry out to Him. If there's trouble in your life, let God help you with it. Submit yourself to Him. That's what prayer is all about. It's communication with God and God communicating with us. It's that back and forth that God can help us and we can talk to Him. We can give Him our burdens. We can tell Him our complaints. We can ask Him for our requests and our petitions. And God can give us what we need. And so when you cry unto God, just remember, He's going to answer. And when He answers and delivers you, He wants you to sing that new song. That joyful noise. In the New Testament, it says that when we come together, we need to have a hymn and a psalm in our heart. We need to be ready to share with singing and with our testimony with others. Because we have a great big God, and we can testify to others and encourage them about how good God's been for us. So let that song reverberate in your mind. Let God give you a brand new song today. When the children of Israel crossed over the Red Sea and the Lord collapsed the sea on the Egyptian army, the Bible said that they got out the tambourine, Miriam did, and she sang a new song. It was a song of deliverance because the Lord had brought them out of Egypt. It was a song of praise because God had destroyed their enemies. And it was a song of victory because God was taking them to the promised land. I want that new song to be in my heart each and every day. Because God has brought us out of sin, He's forgiven us, He's helped us, He's put His Spirit inside of us, He's walking with us, and He is taking us to that promised land. We're going to hear Him say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. It's not too far away. So I want that new song to be in my heart today, and I want to play it over and over again. God, you're so good. God, you're so lovely. God, we thank you today for what you've done in our lives. You're an awesome God. You're our deliverer, our savior. You've forgiven us. You help us. You strengthen us. You lead us. You guide us. You take care of us. You protect us. You're an awesome God. So let that new song be in your heart today. God bless you. We hope you share these with others. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you on the next devotional. God bless.